what was what was that? Was that was that about ten fucking seconds? I believe it was. Let's just let's just appreciate that one time, shall we? This time we're gonna we're gonna make sure it's not doing any housekeeping. It doesn't appear to be doing so. And we are going to restart. One, Mississippi. Two, Mississippi. Three, Mississippi. Four, Mississippi. Five, Mississippi. Six, Mississippi. Seven, Mississippi. Eight, Mississippi. Nine, Mississippi. Ten, Mississippi. Eleven, Mississippi. Twelve, Mississippi. Thirteen, Mississippi. Fourteen, Mississippi. Fifteen, Mississippi. Sixteen. Oh. Uh, uh, eight. What? Was that? Less than... 16 seconds? On a... old ass Intel... with 8 gigs of RAM... and an entry level... 120 gigabyte solid state drive... that was a 16 second boot up. This just went from a eight-year-old computer that was about to be out of date to a screaming, fast, very user-friendly machine that is capable of just about everything a Mac or a Windows machine that comes stock could do. And I don't know, maybe you'd, you'd like to get some, uh, some software that, uh, that you need. You know that you need some, uh, I don't know. You need something specialized in whatever it is you need to do on here and you go to the software boutique and you tell it well I know I need something for uh, uh let's see how about a little sound and video software you need uh, it's in alphabetical order. Let's give it a little filter because you need something for uh, audio production. Maybe you need a, I don't know, a little something to record audio clips like a, a simple program like Audacity. We'll put that in. And uh, you always got to put in the password when you put in new software. I got that. I might have missed the second to last letter there by accident. No, I got it. And, uh, you also know that you need, like, a, I don't know, like a sim systems tool type of thing. Not quite sure what, uh, oh, that software's installed, by the way, that we just clicked. That's all ready to go. But you need, uh, yeah, you need a system profile and bench something to run benchmarks on your new system here. So you're gonna install that. Um, I clicked on that and let's say, oh, that's that's installed. That's done. Uh, perhaps you're gonna need a little something because you're interested in programming. Uh, you're not quite sure what to get, but you. You did a little something on the web, and you looked it up, and you decided that you should probably start out with uh, 
with this program called Ubuntu Make. So you're gonna put that in there. And uh, I don't know, that might be a big program, so it's probably gotta update some system info and then install the packages. You know, this one's it's gonna take a while. Oh, I'm sorry, that's that's installed. And uh, you know, you know you like to edit your photos once in a while. This blender program here, this is for pretty advanced stuff like uh 3D animation and, and well, we'll give it a shot. We'll throw that on there. That's a huge program, very powerful. Um, so, I don't know, maybe we should get a, uh, a drink or something while that's installing. You, you can see that it is, it's kind of slow on the uptake and, and installing this, this, uh, you know, oh, I'm sorry, that's installed. Uh, and maybe you want a good old-fashioned uh, uh, photo editor. That's an advanced one. I know that GIMP is like Photoshop. This is this is the uh, the Linux Photoshop. This is you know you know what a complex uh, program Photoshop is. So now I know we're gonna get a minute to talk about you know what it means to have Linux on your machine. Well, GIMP installs, because that's going to take a minute. Your, uh, your, your start bar's up here, though it doesn't have to be. If you're familiar with Windows, uh, all the stuff that's usually on the bottom of Windows is up on top. Like, uh, this would be your, so, you know, quote-unquote start button. Oh, I'm sorry, uh, that Photoshop for Linux is installed. Let's just keep going on a little tour here. It's already all separated into categories like system accessories, and then those are over here. No matter what you download, it puts it in the right spot for you. Your graphic stuff, like Blender we just got, and uh, Git Gimp we just got, but it also comes with stuff ready to hook up a scanner, ready to manipulate photos. All your internet software that's pretty standard right here. Firefox is the go-to on Linux. Uh, Firefox is a very private web browser. It's a lot like uh, Safari for Mac, and it's a lot like Chrome browser for um, for PCs. Uh, it's, it's a really good program. Uh, the Linux version of Office comes standard with your... Um, your, your writer, which is like Word, uh, Impress is like PowerPoint, Draw is for making your own simple graphics and editing them for inclusion in anything that you're gonna uh, produce for pub, you know, like a, a paper or whatever. There's a, a scientific and simple calculator. Uh, LibreOffice is for compiling and storing your documents. Uh, your PDFs, your, you know, your your uh, publications and whatnot, and then there's a, a straight up viewer that'll view not just PDFs but just about every kind of file. Talked about sound and video. We installed a couple of these, uh, and then there's a few players. VLC Media Player can play any kind of video or audio file. Uh, and then you got your system tools. Uh, you know, useful stuff if you need to, uh, you know, get deep into your Linux stuff. And then a universal access system with, uh, stuff where, you know, it'll read you every word on the screen, magnify stuff. Uh, and then anything you download will pretty much, uh, get added to these categories, unless it needs to add a new one. Uh, and here's, like, a... Places is like a quick access to your most commonly used spots, uh, like your home folder, which is kind of like my computer uh, and PCs. Here's all your stuff. Here's your drive with your folders, uh, your documents, your downloads, your music. If you choose to keep your music, your pictures, and videos where they suggest. Uh, and then, uh, 
you know, we've got uh, other places like visiting your network, which <laughs> in my house would be uh, the work group network. Here you can see a couple of my other Linux systems set up along with my uh, network attached storage ready to click right into and hop on. Here's my Windows network we can access. And uh, I have not set that up yet with my passwords and everything, so it's not just going to let you in straight away. But I'll take a little configuration at your own house or network. And then your system, your administrative tools, uh, your preferences, uh, the way you want things to look, uh, if, you, if you're going to log out or shut down, what you want people to see, if you're going to lock the screen. Um, if you've used Windows or a Mac, uh, learning how to use this desktop should take you about as long as this video is. I'm not saying I just explained it all, but, um, yeah, that's it. And definitely, any questions you have, this is the most user-involved community uh, as far as operating systems go. They're constantly updating the operating system, as in every single night, you can sign up to have the nightly build download and have the up-to-the-date version of your operating system on here. Now, we've got Linux Mate installed on here, which I chose for you, uh, but that is by no means your only choice. If you go online and you decide that you want to uh, check out uh, different kinds of versions of Linux, uh, Mate falls under the, uh, the most popular branch of the Linux tree for users, which would be Ubuntu. But uh, if you wanted to see what the Ubuntu flavors were, they're called flavors, you would just uh, check it out um, by putting in Ubuntu. Ubuntu flavors. And uh, it's going to tell you um, these are the big ones. And then you can go to their website and you can get, you know, short little desk. Uh, descriptions, maybe um, a little uh, uh, a little taste by looking at what the desktops look like. Uh, there's different versions of Ubuntu Cloud. You can set up your own cloud, your own server. Um, you can choose to be a developer who creates your own flavor. Uh, this is. Uh, if it's, I believe 99.9 .9 of this is open source, uh, unless it would present some sort of security risk to everybody else, uh, it, you, uh, you can't just have it, but, but uh, it's not that hard to, uh, to become part of the community who can build your own version. Uh, there are the, the most popular versions of our flavors. Uh, Mate would be one of them. Uh, I remember Mint was a big one. And I personally love using um, uh, Ubuntu Studio, which you may uh, choose to switch to. Um, it focuses on multimedia um, as uh, you know, your operating system, all of the accoutrement, all of the everything about it um, is all about creation of multimedia, uh, playing um, multimedia type stuff. Uh, you know, it's it's made for the 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 media creator in us, video editing, Photoshop type editing, animation, sound editing, sound production, 
a lot of work with MIDI. Um, you know, just, it's all about uh, music, uh, uh, video, uh, photography, and publishing. Uh, they release a new, a, a brand new revamped version every six months, and then a long-term su support version every every two years. It's constantly being updated, and it's quality. It's uh, it, it's what I use on my uh, my machine that we can hear right now. <laughs> what I do is. This is uh, right now. This is just YouTube, but Studio is Studio is what I use, and Studio is uh, is what is hooked up to this tower over here on the floor. Um, I don't know how well you can see it with all my LEDs and stuff, but there's a tower under there and it's feeding just VGA to the TV and then I, I build my own sound cards It's feeding into my my studio uh, One of my channels over here. and I'm, I've just got a DJ set of YouTube playing but within studio um, I it, it's focused around uh, stuff like uh, I'm holding a wireless keyboard here, so let me uh, let me just connect from power because we don't need to be. I'm gonna sit down on my couch here. <clears throat> so up on the 50 inch, we've got this is my start menu. We've got uh, my my categories are uh, audio production, and then here's all my audio production software here, and then and it goes and goes and goes. Uh, there is a program free for everybody called Mix, which is a lot like Virtual DJ. Uh, this is all my graphic design software. There's GIMP, like I just downloaded for you. Uh, video production software. Boom. Um, Blender's up there. That's like the animation one. Um... There's a couple video editing things in there. There's uh, studio accessories, stuff like um, managing archives of files, um, color pickers for different uh, title screens or publications, stuff to help you with that. Um, my uh, note takers, my um, you know, organizational stuff. I've got uh, education uh, up in here with uh, stuff like uh, stuff that I want to learn more about. Uh, different pieces of software up here that I want to learn more about. Um, every flavor comes with a couple games. I'm not a game guy, but there's some games. Uh, then, of course, Internet for Studio includes... Dropbox, very important. Internet DJ console where you can store all of your music in the cloud and access it from any Linux machine. Uh, the Tor browser, very important to have private uh, uh, browsing as well as private big file peer-to-peer uh, -peer, uh, sending receive which is, is called transmission media playback software got a bunch of that including Cody here's mix the DJ software let's uh let's crack that for a second just so you can see what that kind of looks like uh, I forget how involved it gets when it opens up if it gets that involved or not um, yeah I haven't used it in a while so it's just gonna basically give me a an explorer screen and want me to pick out media files which I'm not ready to do at this moment um, we might get lucky here but 
Uh, yeah, I'm not set up for mix right now. It's not going to show us much, unfortunately. Um, as well as uh, audio production, um, graphic design, video production, uh, which would be, uh, you know, stuff like uh, uh uh, videos to get ready to uh, to to show exclusively on i uh, iPhones and iPads, uh, video editing, um, stuff to record uh, a desktop. If I had like streaming video going on, I want to put it to file. Uh, accessories meant for studio. So this, you know, as you can see, just this flavor of Linux. This Ubuntu Studio is geared totally towards media creators, um, furthering your education about, you know, stuff like this. Um, and, and it's all here. And this is just one section of one version of, uh, you know, of, um, uh, of Linux. And anybody can create their own... Uh, flavor of Linux uh, and cater, you know, a build upon one that exists, like Ubuntu, which, you know, as you can see, looks pretty similar between the two flavors that we just saw, and, uh, <clears throat> and is always ready to, uh, to show, um, or build upon uh, the next creator, you know, learning a little bit of code, and uh, which increasingly is more and more graphic interfaced as opposed to typing out a bunch of ones and zeros. It's all becoming very user friendly, and uh, I predict that it'll, uh, you know, by the, by the time our kids are doing this, it'll it'll pretty much all be, uh, you know, not only whatever you desire, but practically voice command. Um, and that's that's what Linux is all about today. I, I highly encourage you explore this, and, and you know even if you're not totally interested in uh, uh, some kind of massive switchover, which I'm not ready for yet. I've still got a lot of ties to PCs and, and need for them, um, but I also definitely keep a fast running. Linux system at the ready. It's hooked up to a giant monitor. Uh, if for nothing else, uh, for my uh, for my media center, it can control everything that I have stored on my network at lightning speed, and um, you know, of course, it's hooked up to the internet, so I can. Um, you know, watch up-to-date stuff uh, as soon as I want to. I, you know, I watch uh, uh, shows that were on today and, without having cable, and uh, it is no problem whatsoever. While I'm going to sleep tonight, I'm going to watch Meet the Press, and... Uh, I'm going to search for it now and get myself a drink, chill out and watch it. And, uh, you know, if nothing else, it is a blazing fast uh, media player uh, that I made out of a PC that, uh, you know, wasn't even mine. I just, uh, somebody just, you know, I inherited it. So, um... You know, don't uh, <clears throat> don't count any old PCs short. I like uh, I I got this thing. I I hooked myself up with a wireless keyboard here off of uh, Amazon that was highly rated. It's a Logitech with a mouse and buttons attached to it, um, and it's it's great for. Uh, sitting across the room and using it as a remote. You can also buy a remote that is uh, equally as useful. 
and um, <clears throat> and uh, and then a sound card that'll hook up into your stereo, which I've told you that I can assist you in making, or you know, a lot of mixers now come with USB, and you can just plug them into any PC and and have it act as your uh, as your um, you know, uh, your 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 stereo act as your speakers for your your media machine. Um, the browser does just about everything. Uh, sans Netflix, if you're lucky enough to have a TV that'll do that, that's great. And just about all your bases are covered. Uh, if not, there's there's options. So, uh, highly highly recommend. Um, you know. This laptop over here with the solid state drive in it and uh, and using it as a media player at the very least and exploring uh, what you can do as far as um, watching uh, uh, your, your own media collection that you store on a drive uh, that's on your network hooked into your router or hey if you've got a tower that's running Linux um, there's no reason that can't be your access point as well for the rest of your house. So, that's my sales pitch. I've got your machine all set and ready for you. And, um, I'm going to be able to cover any, uh, you know, anything you've got missing. Uh, as far as, you know, your wants for video streaming or audio or whatever you need. Um, you know... <coughs> I will be able to uh, to help you out because uh, I think that you will uh, you'll be able to benefit from a uh, a Linux streaming machine, uh, if not a tower, a laptop. If not a laptop, I'll hook you up with a Raspberry Pi, and you can do um, all of this Cody stuff just as fast as I'm doing it here. Um, you can even hook external drives into it and have it act as your network attached storage for your favorite movies and TV shows that you download from a different PC in your house, if that's your thing. Uh, totally customizable, totally up to you, and um, yeah, I'm willing to help. So I'm signing off, I'm going to watch a little Chuck Todd here, and uh, see what President Drumpf has done today. Alright, Broseph, catch you later. Enjoy.